it was four minutes, here it shows three minutes. So we come to the anticoagulants. We are talking of oral anticoagulants, the 10A inhibitors and the others that we all, all know about and the thrombin inhibitors. Tabicatran, as we know, has already been approved. Rivaraxaban and Apixaban are being studied and we shall try and see some of them. We all know the problems that we face with warfarin and acetrome. We are looking at the advantages of newer anticoagulants that they have rapid onset, predictable anticoagulant effect, specific coagulation enzyme target, low potential for food interaction, low potential for drug interaction. Rivaroxaban, Apixaban and Endoxaban are the oral 10A inhibitors. They have some differences uh, in their renal clearance and they have some drug interactions which are uh, there. They have been tried in uh, prevention of DET, Apixaban and Rivaroxaban, both knee and hip arthroplasty as well as in medical um, to prevent DVT. They have been studied as uh, in AF, as we know, in the rocket AF uh, and the Evros and Aristotle trial. The ACS trials are important for us, the ATLAS and the APRES too. Epixaban has been, uh, the results are out, the ATLAS trials results are awaited. This was the trial to see if Epixaban was useful in ACS. However, this trial was terminated prematurely. This was because it did not find any difference in the events that it was trying to prevent. And in fact, there was a risk of increased bleeding in these patients. The bleeding risk was high and they showed that a greater number of intracranial and fatal bleeding events occurred with epixaban as well as plus and then more than placebo. So they showed that epixaban was not useful in treating patients of acute coronary syndrome. The Aristotle, Aristotle trial which was presented recently at the ESCS, this was shown that uh, the epixaban is very useful and it was superior to warfarin in preventing stroke and systemic embolization and it had a lower mortality than warfarin. The Ruby 1 which was also presented at ESC recently, August 31st, showed that the newer uh, oral 10A Derexaban did not work like Apixaban in the ACS situation. The ATLAS trial, we are awaiting the results of this which will be presented in AHA, November 2011. Probably ATLAS 2 trial has not been stopped prematurely and we are hopeful that Rivaroxaban may be useful in the patients of acute coronary syndrome. With that, I thank you for your attention.